Welcome back to the Paul Holden Details channel. Yes, something a little bit different this week. If you're in the loop, you've been following me on Instagram, you've been following a number of people on Instagram, uh, namely Phil Miranda, Miranda Detailing, The Epic Car Show, Specky McSporran and C. Vicky. Then you'd know that we're doing this sort of Friday night takeover. If you're not in the loop, go and check out all their channels underneath this video after you've watched this one obviously right this week uh, this is kind of a real very very belated catch up on my wash gear now it's gonna i'm gonna try and make this as basic as possible and preferably affordable as possible i'm exceptionally lucky i'm really really lucky here i'm surrounded by all this stuff i get sent an enormous amount of gear but it wasn't always like that i did start off like just doing this as a hobby and then it grew and grew and grew and I do buy quite a bit of stuff believe it or not I do buy quite a bit of stuff and this is kind of where I am at now it's an up-to-date video and it really is on basic stuff like my wash buckets next to me my wheel bucket my brushes all the detailing brushes that I use a quick release system and then we're just going to move through the real basic stuff like the wash mitts and my drying towels and my favourite cloths and of course the pressure washers and the snow foam lances. So pretty basic stuff, not forgetting the grit guards. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. This week I've got a bit of advice for you. So this week we are combining vegetarianism with pest control. Yes, if you get those things called flaffles, those Moroccan things I believe, these spicy things that look a little bit like uh, meatballs but certainly don't taste the same, put them in the microwave, keep some back as spares obviously, let them set overnight and they set like cannonballs. I knocked a fox out last night, that's just stopping going through our bin bags. Enjoy the video. Okay, here we go then. We have our rinse bucket and our wash bucket. These are 20 litre in size. You can use smaller, you can use 15 litres, but these pretty much are the standard across the detailing world and Valentin. That is a washboard grit guard uh, designed to wash like you would be if you were doing it on the side of a riverbank. Not that anyone does that anymore. And we have the standard grit guards or wash guards, whatever you want to call them. And those are 26 inches. They do vary in size, these do. The cheaper versions tend to be smaller and they don't fit your buckets properly, so watch out for that. When it comes to wheel buckets, that's 15 litres of water that will hold, and I did manage to get that from work. And no, I can't get any more, but you can order them online. And that, of course, is a detail guard, or guards, believe it or not. These are for stopping you snagging your hoses i.e. your gun hose, or also your electrical uh, leads as well. Not you should have them near the car, obviously. Brilliant bits of kit they are. Great for tarmac, concrete drives as well. Not so much on shingle. Obviously stones are gonna get snagged up in there, but nevertheless, a worthy investment. When it comes to brushes, the Tough Shine Scrubbing Brush. Brilliant bit of kit, really handy. You can use this time and time again it just never fails EZ range of brushes now these are obviously a lot more money but they're worth investing in I've been using these for a number of years they seem to go on and on and on and if you soak them in hot water overnight they go back to their original state the next day top tip for using these is use wheel shampoo or even just car shampoo, it stops any splashback coming off those bristles. If you think you can buy a cheaper wheel brush, go ahead. I am guarantee you that these will outlast your cheap versions. I've had the cheap ones, they molt like a cheap, cheap Labrador. Yes, one of those. Who thinks of this stuff? When it comes to the mini brush, great for getting in the, the tighter areas. Especially on motorbikes, brilliant on motorbikes. EZ Go Brush next. You might be thinking, yes, that is a rather large blue toilet brush. This is used for wheel arches and also used on really big wheels, like commercials. If you've got some really big, deep rims to get into, you can use this. But primarily, I use it for the arches. It's a multi purpose brush, it has a stiff plastic handle. Whereas the other brushes have stainless steel shafts. But it still has the same construction as far as the bristles are concerned. 
and this might lose its shape. So nice warm water in a bucket, soak it in there for a while, then stand it up in something or hang it on the wall and go back to normal. Next is my, one of my favorite brushes, the Vican brush. It's all purpose brush. I've had this such a long time. This does pretty much everything. Apart from scrub those tires, now you will see me go over the tire, it's too soft for that to be honest with you. Once again, I think this is chemical resistant, it's never lost its shape, it's soft, it won't scratch your paint because it's rubberized on the end. And it just seems to come back and nothing goes wrong with it. Where's the brush? Probably because the wife hasn't got hold of it yet. Get yourself one of those. Cheaper alternatives are available like this one. This happens to be quite good on carpets, believe it or not, and uh, on mats. But as for wheels, it's not so safe, to be honest. It doesn't feel as soft, and of course it's hard plastic, so there is a danger you're gonna knock into a wheel. Now if you wanna bust your wallet out, you can go for the wheel woolies. I've got a video on these versus EZ brushes. These are made from pure wool. And if you want to know where those racks come from, I'll put a link underneath this video. They are British made. Once again, these hold quite a bit of liquid. Great for wheel shampoos and wheel cleaners. They are chemical resistant. If you're going to invest in any of these, it's worth washing them out after every use and then drying them. Just flick them, get the, the moisture out of them. Don't put them in the airing cupboard. And there you go, that, that's a close up. All ready to be used again. Now if you're gonna go on the, the, the sort of nastier side of detail or vanity, the commercial side, you might want some of these. These are the chemical resistant Atlas to brushes. The first one is a soft one and the second one is the more brutal, I should say, for engine bays, uh, that's a stiff one. Around about £11, I think these are. Yes, I did use it to clean the truck all those moons ago, doing the wheels. Obviously, these were caked in brake dust. They need something with a bit more uh, stiffness to them. When it comes to some more brushes, we've got a selection here. Super cheap brushes, those are. You can get them on eBay or AliExpress, that is a Detail's Passions detailing brush. Not a bad pad scraper that, or revitaliser should I say. Hog's hair brush, but a fairly cheap one. And of course the detailing factory brushes. Now I was very lucky to be sent these. They're not the cheapest of brushes. They're great for dashboards, fantastic on interiors. There are some alternatives and I'll show you those in a bit. Once again, all this racking system, I'll put a link underneath the video. That's a chemical resistant brush. Hence the funny bristles. No, that is not a hamster's toothbrush. That's another detailing brush from Details Passions. Very handy for intricate areas in doing interiors. When you get grime around the uh, dashboard area, it's great for getting in there and it's safe. It's quite soft. And then of course you've got the quick release systems on the, uh, the right. So starting from the left, I have the Alien Magic Hog's Hair Brushes, the stubby version, the middle, middle one, and the larger one. I absolutely love these brushes. Once again, these aren't the most cheapest brushes you can buy, but they do last, and if you look after them, they'll look after you. Yeah, I think someone said that before. I think it was on Alien Falls and Horses. Some cheaper alternatives, you've got the Valet Pro brushes. And once again, look after those. Don't leave them in water overnight, or the collar around the top will split and then molt and fall apart. Now, alternatives to detailing factory brushes. You can pick these up online. If you just search detailing factory brush, you'll be bombarded with a ton of adverts. What are you gonna keep them in? Well, put them in a bag. Dildo juice, I mean dodo juice. Yes, my trusty bag, which has seen better days. And of course, the wash mitts. You can't wash your hands with bare hands. I can't wash your hands, can't wash your car with bare hands. Got a selection here of mitts. I don't tend to use the noodle mitts. I prefer these more plush ones. Kind of like the Geotechnic versions. Been copied millions of times. 
a lot of the ones with the straps in them because you don't dr drop the blimmin' things. Not that I've ever done that before, obviously. And that is my highly impressive wax top buy from all those years ago, the microfiber madness mitt. Still going strong. As far as water supply is concerned, you might not think that's very important, but connections, you can lose a lot of water, a lot of pressure. I tend to go for the brass fittings, and that is a screw fix hose, believe it or not. Very affordable. And just a hose lock attachment on the end. Now, as far as pressure washers are concerned, I've got the Neil Fisk C135i. So I've been using this for a little while now, running on a 10 meter extension lead, no longer. They don't like long leads. A number of you put comments in the comment section complaining about them. It happens to be a quite capable machine, play a poke. I've got the high definition attachment stubby gun with the adapter there. This enables you to fit numerous attachments, including the swivel adapter, which is shown there. So you can pick those extensions up online, and you'll also pick up one of these. It's normally linked at the bottom of my videos. Just check the prices, the swivel coupler. This enables you to crank the nozzle and then get underneath the car, get underneath the arches and the lower parts of the car. Also, I have a hop up part that is the hose it's a 10 meter hose but it's reinforced you can get those from direct hoses or high definition detail so i didn't always have this machine uh something like six years old this machine is the neil fist c120 it's light it's affordable you can get these for under 100 pound you're probably thinking well if you're doing this you're doing videos you need the best of everything i didn't always have this yes i cleaned a truck with it believe it or not it was a long day. I could have done with more power, a bigger machine, but it did the job. It certainly earned its money on that particular day. So if you do watch detailing videos, it's not always about the best of everything. It's not always cranzels. It's not always the best of best polishers, the best equipment. You've got to start somewhere. So that's what I'm using now. This. Neil Fisk C135i. Also, a word of caution, the attachments on the end. Don't be tempted to get the super cheap eBay ones. They aren't very good. They're not the correct sizes. So talking of attachments, I have a number of snow foam lances. Starting from the left, that was my original Golden Bird Detail one. And then I swapped it over to a quick release system. The bottles are from uh, Golden Bird Detail. That's the uh, Jack Daniels style bottles. You want to know where those come from? Who doesn't like coloured snow foam, eh? I get the neighbours talking. And then the Gleam Detail snow foam lance. Now this just delivers it slightly different. There's not much in it between these lances, the way they actually deliver the foam, but this is very slightly different in the way you twist the end and it's, it's just minute changes. It's all personal preference, to be honest with you. It still gets the foam on the car and that's ideally what we want to do. And yes, it does make a slight difference with a more powerful machine. That is the wide neck detailed online lance. Happens to be my favourite one, this. You can mix up your uh, snow foam or your APC in a jug and just tip it in. There's no faffing around with funnels. And of course, the lovely label Garage Therapy, which has nothing to do with that actual lance. That cone-shaped thing. This is to save yourself product. You don't always need all that product. At times I put my lance back and it's got a couple of inches of snow foam left in it. So if you get one of these, just use it all. That should be enough to do your car. The only downside is you might have to cut your pickup pipe because it's quite a short bottle. So just bear that in mind if you are going to use one of those. And that's it as far as the wet stuff's concerned. So what about drying? 
So what about drying towels? Now I have got a blower and I do use it a lot, but drying towels, towels, put your teeth in Paul. This is the Monster Shine Car Care, Humphrey the Camel Towel. Now, not camel toe, it's got an edge on it, but it's soft. You haven't got to worry about that. It is a machined edge, but it's very, very soft. The second towel I've got is from Ultimate Finish, and it's a German name, and I can't pronounce it. Sounds like with H. It's probably the most expensive towel I've got, but it is super thirsty and very, very plush. And I do use these in conjunction with a blower, believe it or not. And the last towel is the latest one from Alien Magic. And this thing drinks more than I do on a Friday night. It does get heavy pretty quick though, I've got to warn you guys, it gets heavy. When it comes to microfibers, there's a number of different microfibers. These are the latest ones, these got sent down by Andy Miles, Miles Drive. These are the uh, Rag Company ones. And then of course you've got the advanced microfibers from Valet Pro. I do like these cloths, they are nice, they're slightly smaller than the black ones. I don't even need residue, I do like them. Just don't put them in the kitchen, you know her indoors will take them. So when it comes to general purpose stuff, like when I'm doing machine polishing, I tend to reach for the high definition uh, detail cloths. These are the red ones, which you've probably seen me use in different videos. They're highly affordable. Chuck them in a washing machine, they just come back for more. And that is it really, ladies and gents. That is my very basic wash and dry kit. Okay, so that is my basic wash kit, and it really is stripped down. I've tried to do this as basic as possible. Obviously, there's quite a few brushes up here to go through. You don't need all these brushes. There's interior stuff over there. I've got a steamer, all the machine polishers. We're not going to go through all that. What I'm saying to you guys, you're probably watching this thinking, this is going to add up a lot. This is going to cost me a fortune. It doesn't have to. This is just a rough guide. But what you have to remember is there's two main very expensive purchases in your life. One is your house, if you're going to buy your house. And the second one is your car. And obviously weddings and divorce, engagement rings, that sort of thing. But really, it's your car. Cars on the road these days, £50,000, £30,000, £100,000, £200,000, all the way down to £500. It doesn't really matter. If you want to look after your car and protect your investment, these are kind of the bits and pieces you're going to probably need. Lots of people are going to watch this and go, do you know what? I couldn't give a monkeys. I'll just go and buy another car. They're in a different league. I do know people like that that drive Porsches and Ferraris, and they couldn't give them monkeys. They don't care about swirls. They don't care that the fact it's covered in crap and it stinks when they get in it. There is a lot of people out there. This is for the guys that want to look after their cars and girls, and they really want to get into car care. It's a very, very basic, rough guide. So hopefully you'll get something out of it. I'll try and put as many links underneath this video as possible as ever. Um, if I miss any, just chuck me a message and I'll try and get all the link and stick it in after. Thanks for watching guys, and please go and check out all the other channels below this video. If you haven't already, go and support them. Uh, I think the next one up is C Vicky. So if you're into your Hondas and your car care, go and give her a watch and make sure you subscribe to all of them. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.